In this lesson, uh, this brief lesson, we're going to talk about uh, bringing clip art into a vector file, cutting it out in the shape of that clip art. And uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, start with a file here that I've got set up uh, with a 12 inch by 5 inch alder. Um, it's already set up so that uh, the color red will cut out. Um, the speeds are set so that the uh, the art will engrave on the alder and then the um, uh, outline will actually cut through. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is import some vector art. This is some art I've already run through uh, Vector Magic, um, so it's it's called Vector Art. And uh, so I'll click on Import, and I've got dog clip art here. If you don't see your uh, EPS files, um, make sure that you're clicking on File Type down here and uh, selecting EPS. So there's my dog clip art. I'll click OK to import it. And uh, anytime you bring in some vector art, you can see it puts a little box around the outside of it. Let's uh, break that apart and get rid of it. So I ungroup it, and then I'm going to click the edges of that uh, outline and delete it. So each edge here, I'm just selecting it and hitting the delete button. Okay, and then I'm going to group the uh, dog back together, and there's my clip art. So it's just a piece of black and white clip art that I've brought in and um, I've deleted the outline around it. Okay, so um, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to uh, set this up so we cut the shape out of the wood, the, the dog shape. And to do this, um, we're going to make a copy of the uh, dog, and then I'll hit paste here, and we'll select the dog and move the copy over. Okay, so I've got two dogs now. I'm going to ungroup one of them, and I'm going to uh, click off to the side so nothing is selected and then just grab the outside edge. Just click that outside edge and let's move that off to the side again. Okay, so I'm left with all this uh, inside, these inside parts. I'm just going to select all of that and delete it, get that out of here. Okay, so I've got um, the outside edge of the dog and I've got the dog here. Um, what I'm going to do to this outside edge is click on my laser colors and make that red by clicking the color red. And now that outline will actually cut out. If I uh, use that as my anchor and then hold the control key down, select the uh, clip art, I can use my alignment tools and center it all up. So now I've got um, them together here and if I zoom in on it real close, you'll see that there is uh, actually a little red outline around the outside edge. So if you were to run this file here, you would actually uh, engrave the dog first and then the laser would come around and cut out the uh, dog shape. Let's say I want to do a number of them. I can move this over into the corner of the piece of wood there. And uh, what we can do though is we can copy that, paste the dog, and uh, this one will uh, rotate. And I'll hit F2 while rotating it, rotating it. 180 degrees and we can move this on top of the, the first one there. So now we've got two of them back to back and we're not using up as much wood. I can select those and copy and paste them and now I've got four. And of course you can squeeze them together even more here. We'll just bring that a little closer. Uh, of course, you know, we don't want to waste too much wood because we're paying for that material and we want to get the most out of it. Now, a couple of rules, or one major rule when it comes to this clip art, that outline edge has to be unbroken all the way around your clip art. If you've got, um, let's see, I think I might have one in here. If you've got something that is, um, oh, I'll just grab a um, corner piece here. Um, something like this. That is a uh, piece of clip art there, but if I there's um, it's actually made up of a number of pieces that make up that outside edge. There's not one continuous outside edge to cut around. So something like this, the best we can really do is just cut out individual pieces. Um, so your clip art, if you want to actually cut out the shape of the clip art, that clip art has to have an outside edge. Um, I will tell you that there are ways that you can. Um, fix the clip art up a bit uh, under your shape tools. Uh, you can um, break up lines and extend lines and that type of thing. I'm not going to get into that here, 
But uh, if you want to play around with this, uh, go ahead and click on these tools and click on your clip art and you'll see that you can uh, adjust those outside edges a bit. But the short and uh, easy way, as long as you've got the right art to begin with, is just to um, break it all apart and uh, delete everything except for the outside edge of that clip art and make that edge a uh, vector. Uh, combine it with your original piece of clip art and you've got a piece like this that's going to actually cut out.